Hey everybody, it's Robert from Kapoing, and wouldn't it be nice if you could just snap your fingers and turn your Twitch highlights from something like this into something more like this, with a caption at the top, some subtitles down below, and just a really nice presentation that makes your clip shareable for social media. Well, it's not as easy as a snap of your fingers, but it is pretty simple using a free online tool called Kapoing. I'm gonna show you today how to add captions and make your Twitch clips more accessible and more shareable for social media. Okay, so the first step here is gonna to be to grab a clip from somewhere that we wanna make into a better clip for social media. So this could be a clip you have on your PC, something you found on Twitter, something you've already uploaded to YouTube. You have a lot of options here. So for the sake of this video, I'm gonna grab a quick clip here from Julie One Shot Girl on Twitter. She has this cool Fortnite floating head glitch she ran into, and we're gonna make that into a new clip for Twitter. So in a new tab, I'll go to kapwing.com slash studio, and that'll bring me to our studio editor here. I can just click get started. Once you're in here, you'll have the option to either upload the file from your PC or grab a URL from the internet. So I have a Twitch, or sorry, a Twitter clip that I'm gonna paste in here. And Kapwing will take a moment and it'll pull the video from One Shot Girl's Twitter right into the editor here, and then we can start working on it. So Julie's video is now showing up in Kapwing. Um, it looks pretty good. Crazy floating head glitch. So let's start working on this. There's two things I wanna to do to this video today to make it perfect to share on Twitter. One, I'm gonna add subtitles so that people know what's going on in the video even if they don't have their sound on. That's very important. It helps more people understand what's going on in your video. And then two, I'm gonna add a cool title to the top. It's kind of eye-catching, so as you're scrolling through your feed, you might wanna stop and see what's going on here. So first, I'll change the background color behind my video to something different. So like we'll go with yellow because this has the Banana Man skin, um, the yellow's fitting. And then I'm gonna add some text right to the top here using the text tool in Kapwing. So we'll say something like crazy floating head glitch. I can resize that to my liking there. And then let's pick a new font over here. Kapwing has a couple fonts that work well for gaming videos. Uh, there's one called Luckiest Guy that is very Fortnite looking. So I'm gonna use that for this clip today. Crazy floating head glitch. And then the next step is to add subtitles. So up here you'll see the subtitles button in your top toolbar. When we click on that, we have a couple options now. We can either click auto generate, and now this is gonna use an AI to try and listen to the video, and the AI will do its best to add captions based on what it hears. Now, you are putting you know, this job in the hands of a computer, so it's gonna be imperfect. There's gonna be errors, and sometimes it's gonna mess up, but that's to be expected. This tool is very cool, though, and if you have a video where people are speaking very clearly, this auto generate actually does an amazing job at picking up a lot of what they say and doing it for you. Now, this clip that Julie shared is kind of chaotic. It's got a lot of shooting, it's got a lot of screaming. I don't think auto-generate's gonna work for this clip. So just know it's an option that we have in our tool set. But I'm gonna do this one by hand today. So I'll start watching the video and I'll just add the subtitles as I go. Kapoing makes it super easy. So the first thing she said is killed all the, I think, people? She like didn't even get to say the whole thing. She was like, killed all the P. So I can create my caption for that and then we can time it. So right after she says killed all that, she screams really loud like, ah. So we'll add that as soon as the second caption or the first caption ends. So every time I click add subtitle here, it's gonna set it to the end point of the last subtitle. So the timing's gonna be pretty perfect. Let's check this out. So there's a bit of a pause. We hear one of her teammates talking and then she goes, what his head when the glitch happens. So let's catch that part and caption it. Looks like it's right about here. So we'll add subtitle and we're gonna move this over. She said, what? His head. All right, and then let's see the timing on that. Perfect.
So that's like pretty perfect as is. Since there is kind of this long pause right here between her saying anything, um, I'll add another caption just for the moment where that guy says there's people or whatever he says. Oh, he says behind us, behind us, okay. So I'll move this one back over here and I'll say behind us, behind us, behind us. Put little stars around it because somebody else said it. And that's a pretty short clip there. Okay, so these captions are looking pretty good. We can uh, make some edits to them over here on the left side. Like for example, I can even change the captions to the same luckiest guy font that I used at the um, top of the video. I can also do some things like add a background to them. I can do you know, an outline around them. So I'm gonna change these and make them a little bigger and I'm gonna move them up. Maybe do like size 22 for these. And then it's kind of hard to read that white on yellow, so I'll change that to black with a white outline. Okay, so maybe even bigger. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so I'll click done here and let's see how it looks inside the editor. So there you go, the clip is now ready to go. We have something that's a lot easier to share on social media and that's a lot more likely to get people to stop as they're scrolling through. They see this crazy floating head glitch, they know exactly what to expect because of the title of the video. And then if they don't wanna stop and turn their sound on, we're even captioning it for them, just these couple of lines of dialogue. And this can make a lot of difference as to how many people watch your video and ultimately how many people find your stream because of the videos you're sharing. So when you're done here in Kapwing, you can just click publish and Kapwing will then process your video. Depending on how many layers you're using, how many different elements are in the video, how long it is, this can take up to a few minutes. Um, I'll go ahead and fast forward to when this is. Okay, so that video is all done. Let's take a watch and see if it looks right. All right, so the video turned out perfect. It looks exactly like we expected it to, and we're ready to share this thing across all of our socials. We have this little bite-sized clip, it's got the captions, it's got a title, and it's a lot more interesting than that original video that Julie posted. So over here, there's the download button. You just press download, and that's your video now. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, you also can share this Kapwing link around if you wanna show people uh, how you made these. I, I love to show people kind of my editing process and you know, you know just the steps in involved to making these things. So it's just as simple as that. There's gonna be no watermark on this as long as you're logged into Kapwing and you're gonna be all set to start growing your Twitch channel and sharing more bite-sized content of the awesome clips you're getting. So hopefully that helps you guys out a bit. Um, it's not as easy as a snap of the fingers, but we're working on it and we're getting close. If you found this video helpful and if you're gonna start captioning more of your videos, which I really hope you do, please drop us a like, drop us a subscribe down below. We're always making new tutorials about how to do stuff like this and trying to stay up to date on the newest trends with social video and short form content. So stay locked in with us for uh, here at Kapwing and we'll have all that stuff for you. So this has been Robert. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.